Let's see how you can solve this challenge. In this challenge, you have to find or write a Python program that finds the difference between two lists, list A and list B. All the elements that belong to list A, in this case, three and four, that do not belong to list B. Let's see how you can do this. We need to define a third list, a third variable that will reference a list with the elements that belong to the difference between these two lists. We'll be populating this list in the program. And how are we going to do that? We're going to write a for loop. And in that for loop, we need to iterate over all the elements of list A. For each one of these elements that we can see right here, one, two, three, and four, we're going to check if that element is not in list B. We can do exactly that with this combination of operators. If the element is not in the list B, then we do something. And what are we going to do? We're going to append that element to the difference list. Why? Because we found an element that is in list A and not in list B. Exactly what we needed for the difference. So we add that element to the difference. And that is basically how the program works. After that, once we have the list already completed with all the elements of the difference, we will print that list. Let's see how this works if we save the file and run our code. We see this as the output 3 and 4. These elements that belong to the difference between list A and list B. Now, if we change list B to include the elements 1, 2, and 3, we save the file and we run the code again, now we see the value 4. We have a list with only one element as the difference. The only element that is in list A and not in list B is now 4. And what happens if both lists have the same elements? So their difference should be empty, let's see. Exactly that. We see an empty list because the difference between these lists is empty. There are no elements in list A that are not in list B. And finally, we have another test case that we should test. If list A is an empty list and list B is not an empty list, then we should, according to the instructions of the exercise, print an empty list. Let's see if we get what we need. Precisely that, we see an empty list. Because the difference has no elements. List A is just an empty list. Great, so now you know how to solve this coding challenge. Great work so far. challenge you had to write a python program that finds the distance between two 3d points 3d points have three coordinates x y and c because they have three dimensions to find the distance we have to write a specific formula or implement a specific formula in our code this formula that you can see right here the distance between point a and point b is defined as the square root of the difference between the x coordinates we can assign any point as the second point or the first point the order doesn't really matter but the point is that we have to subtract the x coordinates raise it to the power 2 and then add the difference between the y coordinates raised to the power 2 or squared and then we add the difference between the c coordinates raised to the power 2 and we find the square root of that sum of that entire result and how can, we implement, how can we implement this in our code? Well, we have two options. One of them uses the simple Python operators that we can use in the language, and the other one uses a function from the math module. Let's start with the first option to see how you can do it without any modules. We need to define two variables, point A and point B, which are going to be represented as a list with three elements to represent the x, y, and c coordinates. After we have those points, we can start working with their coordinates. And how are we going to implement this formula? We are going to assign the result to a variable called distance. And this is the implementation of the formula in our code. Right here, we are subtracting the x coordinates of the points. And how are we doing that? How are we getting those values? We're taking point A, which we have right here, and we are taking the first value in the list at index zero. That, va that value is the number 3. And then we are taking point B, and we are taking its first value at index 0, 
which in this case is the value 1. We are subtracting those values, and then by careful use of parentheses, we can raise that value or that result to the power 2 using the exponentiation operator, which is two asterisks followed by the power. After that, for readability purposes, we can break the expression into multiple lines. When we surround the entire expression with parentheses like this, we can break it into multiple lines for readability purposes. And that is what we are doing right here. To this result, we are going to add the result of subtracting the y coordinates of the points, squared, of course. How are we getting those coordinates? We're taking point A, and we are getting the second value at index 1, which is the value 4. And then we are getting the second value of point B, which is the value 3. Then we are subtracting those values, and the result is being raised to the power 2. We're squaring the value. And finally, we do exactly the same with the C coordinates. We are getting the third values in the list at index 2 of each one of the points, these numbers right here. Then we are squaring the result, and right here we are surrounding the entire expression with parentheses so we can break it into multiple lines. And after we do that, we erase that to a fraction. We are raising it to the fraction 1 half because by doing that, we are representing the square root operation. When you raise to 1 half, you're calculating the square root of the value. And that is basically the formula that we have to use to get the distance. After we get that value, we just print it. Let's save the file and see, save the file and see how this works. Right here we can see the output. When we have the points 3, 4, 5, and 1, 3, 5, we get a distance of 2.236067 with all the decimals that the computer can store. And that is the correct value. Now let's try this with two different points, minus 3, 4, and minus 5, and 2, 0, and minus 4. If we run the file, we see the result 6.0. 480740 and all the decimal numbers that we can see. And this result is correct. And finally, if we test two points that are equal that represent the same point in the 3D plane, the distance should be zero. And that is exactly what we see. 0, 0.0 in this case because we are using floats. Great, so this is option one. Let's see what we option two. Let me comment this out, and let's go to option two, like this, uncomment this, and now we see something a little bit different. We have the same formula with a small modification. Right here, you can see this line, import math. We are going to use something called a module. A module is a Python file that has some related functions and constants and things that we can use for specific purposes. In this case, we're using the math module, which is a built-in module that comes with Python and that provides access to the mathematical functions. It gives us access to functions like, for example, square root, which is what we need in this exercise. So we're going to use that. Of course, we need the two points, so we are still defining these variables, and now we are breaking down the formula into two parts. First, in this case, I decided to find the addition first, or the sum, we're not naming the sum because, sum because that is a special keyword in Python that represents the sum function, so I call this addition. This is the result of the inner part, the internal part, of the square root when we subtract the x, y, and c coordinates and raise them to the power 2. And after we have that addition, we are going to apply the square root function of the math module. That's right. We're writing the math module, the name of the module, followed by a dot, then the name of the function that we want to call, and within parentheses, we are passing the value for which we want to find the square root. In this case, that is the addition. This is going to return the square root, and we're going to store it in the variable distance. After that, we just print the distance. Let's save the file and run the code to see if we get the same results. Like this, we see the result 2.2360 and all the decibel numbers that we have right here. And that is correct, that is the distance between these two points. 
if we instead find the distance between these points, minus 3, 4, minus 5, and 2, 0, minus 4, and we run the code, we will see the distance 6.4807 and all these decimals. And that is correct. And finally, we need to check if the distance between two points that represent the same point in the 3D plane is 0. And precisely that, we get 0, 0.0. 0 represents. In this challenge, you have to write a program that prints a list with all the elements that are common to list A and list B. So we're basically finding their intersection. First of all, the first thing that we have to do is to define two variables to store list A and list B. And then we need a third variable with the common elements that is going to store a list with the common elements between them, their intersection. We start writing a for loop. This for loop is going to iterate over every element in list A, and then it's going to check with this conditional if the element is in list B or not. If the element is in list B, and it's in list A because we're iterating over all the elements of list A, then we are going to append that element to the list of common elements, because that element is both in list A and in list B. So we are going to append that element to the intersection. And after we get that intersection, we just print it. Let's save the file and run the code to see how it works. Right here, we see that the intersection between these two lists is 1, 2, 3, and 4, because they both contain the same elements. Let's try this with different examples. For example, 4, 5, 6, 1, 4, 5. 4 and 5 are common elements between these two lists. They appear in both lists, so they should be in the intersection, and that is exactly what we see right here. 4 and 5. Now let's see another example. 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3. In this case, the only element that is common to both A and B is 3. So that is the intersection that we see. A list with just one element, the number 3. And then let's check 4, 5, and 6, and 1, 2, 3. In this case, we're testing what happens if the two lists have no common elements. The result, intuitively, should be an empty list, because the intersection should be empty. And that is exactly what we see right here. We see an empty list. No elements were added to the list of common elements.